now what? So how are you doing? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we can talk about it later. <laughs> there goes the castle. There goes, like, all of the castle town, too, apparently. Oh, How did you get out here? Did you steal Coops? The horse? No, Coops is a black. Wait, what? That horse is so much better looking. <laughs> of course, it has armor on it. Oh, that doesn't work well. I ripped your head off. <laughs> that actually is the pose of ripping someone's head off. Yeah, it is. Oh, and he broke it, too. I crushed her. Well, that's part of the few shadow, remember? It's part yeah. of, like, the magic of their tribe. The fact that he has the power to break it, I guess, says more about him than it does about her. <laughs> We're going to team up, finally? Spirits of the light, wielders of the great power that shines... Shines far and wide upon the lands of our world. In my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. Ganorf's like, well, that's just lame. Ganorf's like, well, that's cheating. That is absolutely cheating. That is cheating. I'm gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Four light spirits and only three arrows. <laughs> Dang it, Elden. <laughs> Sorry, it's just laying down some fat beats. <laughs> I can't turn into an arrow. I, I can just do fat beats. Draco. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. Okay. <laughs> Mama always said stupid is as stupid does. <laughs> so we teleported back to the battlefield now? Yeah, Gan Ganor's just been sitting here waiting for us. He's like, alright, <laughs> you guys, uh... I'll try to slow Ganor with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. So this is the fight I was least looking forward to. Oh, cool. Absolutely me. wrecked. Him. Yeah. This is the part of the fight I was least looking forward to. Because, uh, I haven't... In case you guys haven't noticed, I have not had the most success with horseback... With the horseback riding here. It's a cool concept. I really like it. I, and I liked it in the Wii version, but... So we can't hurt him until we can't hurt him until Zelda shoots him with a light arrow. Which she's not doing. There we go. Get him, Zelda. Ooh, you miss? Good. Oh well. So it only has three arrows. <laughs> and one DJ. <laughs> so normally when you kill those ghost riders like I just did, they drop the heart. Unfortunately we don't have that. Got him. Oof. I guess he ran, ran into me. me. Yeah, and his horse is clearly superior to Coops clearly the horse. Clearly superior to Coops the horse. What the hell? It's all right, I love you anyways, as where's, a horse. Where's my power? I was oh, supposed to be the world's best again. horse. I don't, I don't know if you were ever supposed to I was destined. Yeah, look out, look out. Oh, okay, I thought it was Look out, look out. I was going to say, look how gentlemanly he is. He came to slash us when we were down. I thought normally he sits there and waits, but I guess, I guess he got to see that. Alright, Zelda, you gonna use that other arrow? I have to see target him before she can do it. Since I have to get in range. When did she fire? There you go. Get him, Zelda, get him! Oof. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, no, no, no. Oof, got him. Okay, that went a little bit better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, that, that went really well. Oh, Oof. I feel bad. That looked painful. Yeah, it did. It was like, He's I don't, still alive. I don't need horses. Takes so much punishment. I like how he found a scabbard for the sword that yeah, the sage stabbed him with. <laughs> <laughs> An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire to take this foul blade 
and use it to blot out the light forever. Coops, no! Hype for the one-on-one -on -one sword fight with Ganondorf. The Dark Lord Ganondorf wishes to battle. There's no way you're stronger than him. Look at his <laughs> muscles. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Ooh, he can do it again. Ooh, that one. Gotcha. Don't want the chance. What's the, the chance to? Chance is what I did that first time where, where you uh, you go straight into this one. Yeah. I don't want to let him win it because if he wins, I believe he does a hit that does at least two or three hearts worth, which we're just going to do it right now. Oh, I missed, apparently. I missed. Shit. Oh. Let's just keep chancing here. He's got other moves. Like a bunch of really cool other moves, but he's just chancing here. But you want to see some of them, don't you? Yeah, I do. He's got an unblockable, actually. Ooh. Come on. So you're unblockable that one right there. That that, one that's actually, the Gandorf punch. Yeah, well, he, he elbows you, and then he finishes with a swing. So you can shield. What happens is if you shield the elbow, you take the uh, you take this swing here on the second one. I'm actually going to see if I can Ooh. Fairy around one of these, I know. Drink the potion. I have a fairy in, in addition to this. Oh crap. This movie was always pretty cool. Yeah. I thought there was a fairy around here. Maybe this last one. Oh, oh the, yeah. literally the last oh, one. Last one. So a cool move that I can do here as well, because he, he's also vulnerable to being backsliced around. You can roll past him, oh, and then mortal draw him as well. Can you use any other weapons too? Your arrows, your spinner. I believe you can use your fishing pole too. I can try that in a second. Let's see if I get the mortal draw. Oh, it just kicks me. His kick with, actually does damage. Actually, does damage. Hit him with the fishing pole. Oh god. Yeah, unblockable. The fishing pole just distracts him. It's not right. Oh. Like so. And just kicks me. Let's try this again. We need to end because he goes with a kick. I feel like they, they changed the range on the little draw. They need to roll under him. Ooh. Look out. Whoa, that was close. The fishing pole, let me see. I've never actually used the fishing pole and he gets distracted by it. Hit him with it, hit him with it, You can't him. hit him with it, it doesn't do anything. You just kind of... The thing you can do is you can, like... It'll follow it. <laughs> Master of Evil. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> you can cheat! I'm such a cheater! He's like, what? That was a really cool fishing pole, what the hell? Dude. Arrows won't work or anything like that? Nah. It's a pretty straightforward sword fight. I'm guessing ball and chain won't work either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he missed! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin past him for the sword slide. I'm trying not to get hit with the Yeah, uh, I don't think we want to do that. I don't want to get hit by the elbow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, run. Oh, that was very gentlemanly. <laughs> Good. Just want to make sure you, you know where we stand. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's right behind us there. Wait, he did... really doesn't like that one. Alright, now, any other moves that he's got? Um, I think that's about it. He does He does a cool spin move when I was shooting. Oh. The elbow into the. The elbow into the. Oh god. Well, better to get hit by the elbow, actually, I think. Actually, it works better if you don't have a shield, because then he just elbows you down and he'll get hit by the sword. If you have a shield, he stuns you with the elbow and then hits you with the sword. Ooh. Alright, let's finish this game, Garth. Now he's not giving me any chances. Okay, I can roll on. Oh, he's taunting me. That was tough. Let's 
close. Chance. Chance time. No? Alright, fine. Oh, <laughs> didn't have my sword out, so uh, I'm gonna miss the chance. Missed the chance. There we go. Let's finish Get him! It was only the second time I knocked him down. Alright. Ooh, another one! <gasps> Get him too strong! Too strong. Ooh. And then. Like, doesn't look very determined. No. Nope. Zelda just kind of looks like. Hey. I left my laundry. <laughs> I gotta pull it out of the washer. <laughs> oh, I forgot to throw on iron boots or the magic armor. Oh, yeah, we do have the invincibility thing because we're max rupees, man. No, no, I meant like in the in the following cutscenes, whatever, whatever outfit you're wearing um, at the end of this fight is what you do. So there's a section where you like run up the hill. If you wear the iron boots, you just hear him go clunk, 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 clunk all the way up. Do not think <coughs> it ends here. The history of light and... Shadow will be written in blood. He did. Hey, Zant. <laughs> Wait, how did Zant kill us? I think the idea is that Zant is tied directly to him because Zant says he'll be he can be um, restored over and over. So the idea of Zant finally dies, it signifies that Ganondorf is dead as well. He dies standing on his feet too, like such a boss. That is such a boss. <laughs> He's got a sword standing through him, and he just not going down. <laughs> you didn't even be an arrow, man. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, dude. Come on, dude. The moment of solemnity. You know what makes solemnity better? Dumpstep. <laughs> she survived. I thought she had her head ripped off. Kick. Oh, you ran out of stamina. Yeah, it really is what it looks like. <laughs> Drink a stamina potion, dude. <laughs> Go get a stamina fruit. What happened to Minda? Uh, where's my imp? That's what Link's thinking, too. <laughs> He's like, what? You're really tall. <laughs> Everyone's taller than me. <laughs> uh, hello, Midna. <laughs> Please go again. What? We're Say something. <laughs> Am I so beautiful that you've had no words left? She knows. She knows Link just isn't good at talking. Say, Link, you want to go take this present from us to uh, the, the Princess of Hyrule? Okay, I'll go ahead. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay I'll, I'll tell the mayor that you're going to do it. You Wait, do I that, didn't Link. say anything. What? I didn't say yes or no. All right. Yes or no. And with that, that's the finale, right? Yeah. There's a couple cutscenes at the end, uh, but we can sit here and uh, kind of talk a little bit about how you how you like Twilight Princess. You who have uh, experienced far less Zelda games than I have. Woohoo! <laughs> Um. Yeah, that was my first time watching. No, I didn't play Draco Paladin played the entire game, but that was my first time watching the entire playthrough. I have seen parts and scenes of it, obviously, before. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Yeah. This is more of a Zelda game than, than Skyward Sword is. 
Skyward Sword, I believe, is it, it's Zelda, but like there's like a Zelda formula you follow um, that people are used to. You know, you go into a dungeon, you get a treasure, um, you have to fight some big evil, um, but there's not that much exploration. It's usually fairly linear, and it, there's always like kind of uh, a feel for it. Skyward Sword, um, Zelda is always more like you know high fantasy, medieval kind of thing. Skyward Sword admittedly feels like it has like it has like moments of like weird futuristic stuff with the robots um, and it has moments of like uh, primitive technology with like the moles or with like the desert or the forest like it, it's it has different it has weirder weirder sensibilities to it Fire Princess is pretty straightforward yeah I thought there was actually a lot of similarities I think overall I enjoyed this game more than Skyward Sword I thought it was just more interesting my only downside or thing I didn't like as much where when you go into dungeons and stuff it's more of just you're there you start going in you know it's just kind of like mm -hmm. here you are go and go and do it yeah there's no fanfare or yeah it's anything. a lot less ceremony it's no there's no more. ceremony it's just go do it which is which is cool but it, it for me it definitely reinforced like you said the solo player mentality mm -hmm. to go take on the world yeah I think they finally pulled the Gorons away from Malomar <laughs> <laughs> I mean Malo's going home so like. Mallow's going home, so I don't know. I wonder what happens to Mallow Martin Incorporated. I mean, he's already made millions. What are they so. cheering for? They didn't do anything. They have got beer. <laughs> You're right. You don't need a reason. <laughs> you don't need a reason to cheer when you've got beer. It's reason enough. So they're just cheering away. That's a lot of meat there too. That's probably Ganon. <laughs> Dark beast. They just chopped him up. Might as well make some use out of him. In food form. She looked bored too. Probably because she never was able to get together with uh, the shaman. <laughs> Oh, look, this is the uh, castle town, and to celebrate, everyone's doing the Malamar dance. Man, they uh, really sold that brand pretty well, yeah, didn't they? they? <laughs> <laughs> you bought it, you are smart. You bought that Malamar. You know, there's some guy that's just like, what's Malamar, guys? <laughs> you know, if you didn't open that chest, that'd be so troll. Yeah, it'd be a closed chest right there. It'd be, a, it'd just be like, I did, I missed it. Oh, Colin's carrying a sword and shield now. Trying to be brave, huh? He said he didn't want to do that, but. a big sword for him. Yeah, it really is. Miles over there is like, I'm too rich for this. <laughs> you guys, I'm sleeping. I paid someone to drive our cart for us. <laughs> oh, it's the Zora Prince. Yes, yeah, Prince. Prince Rallis. The only reek fish catcher in the all of the land. Yep. Hmm. Any other closing Those people thoughts? being they're hanging with the cuckoos. I think it's fire and Falby. Oh yeah, you're right. In the middle there, I've never they're, seen that one before. They're flying down with them, trying their own hand at their crappy at their own craft <laughs> <laughs> at the racket that they're running. <laughs> their own racket game they have there going on. So, any final thoughts for you on the game? How much do you like this one compared to other Zelda's? Oh, Twilight Princess is great. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite. Um, it does introduce, I think, a lot of a lot of really cool concepts that I uh, wish some of the that I wish like Skyward Sword had carried on. But there's there's definitely parts about it that are not necessarily the most desirable. If you um, so the girl on the left there is uh, Henna. She's the, the the owner of this fishing hole. We actually never met her. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. We went through the game and we never met her. She and the uh, the canoe girl and the lantern guy. They're all brothers and sisters. Okay. Yeah. Now you 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 mentioned that at one point, but I never actually bothered filling you in on it. Yeah, they look the same. Broccoli yeah. head and uh, broccoli head and lantern guy. Yeah. Aww. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Yeti's incoming. Oh yeah. So it's one of your favorite Zelda games? Um, I or would not... say it's not one of my favorites. It's a, it, the biggest thing about Twilight Princess is if you've ever played Ocarina of Time, um, it, uh, it piggies back a lot of the characteristics, of, the characteristics of Ocarina of Time on it. And I consider Ocarina of Time the, the ultimate Zelda game. It's not necessarily my favorite Zelda game, um, but it is like the epitome of what Zelda should be. And Twilight Princess has a lot of unsettling similarities to it if you if, if if that bothers you all if it bothers you that that a game essentially essentially is almost just a a more detailed slightly slightly modified remake of another game um then you know that could bother you and while while it does kind of stick in my mind at times like i definitely enjoy it for what it is um it is it's like it was the first game it was the first zelda game to come out on the wii it was the second one to come out on the gamecube 
it's definitely a bit more dated than I would think some things have, but that's partially because the video game industry has moved so fast in the past couple of years. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's really fun. Uh, it offers something that I, I think a lot of games at that time just didn't have either. Um, even if it was, even if it was very similar to Twilight Princess, like there's, there's definitely something special about the game. Yeah, I liked all the different areas and the exploring. I did. I liked the interesting because they they have a lot of weird, interesting characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though I don't really feel like I have a big connection to any of them. I don't really care about their backstories. You know, you're not really no. close to any of them. Yeah. So that would be maybe a complaint I'd have that I'd like to see a little bit more interaction with, with certain characters, but. That's what I meant when I said Link feels like a lone wolf, literally. And this game, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you're lone wolf in it. Now, you do have Midna, but that's essentially the helper that comes in every game. Right. And th that's actually pretty classic. Um, well, we'll get to that in a second. Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I now know the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. I like how Zelda came with us all the way out here. Yeah. Zelda, your words are kind and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do all right. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror is around, we could meet again. Draco. I... See you later. So Minda shatters the mirror, so we, we can't visit? No. Yep. She, she, as the true ruler of Twilight, she's the only one who has the power to, to completely shatter the mirror. And she does so to prevent anything like this from ever happening again. Um, ever have some crossing uh, crossing over or melding of the worlds that isn't supposed to. Maybe she just um, really didn't like us. <laughs> it's quite possible. She's like, we that are. was a miserable journey. We are. We are. We are way too. Uh, we agree with everything. We go along with anything. I don't think we've refused a single person. You don't have a single backbone in you, Link. No, pretty much. I'm out of here. <laughs> also, she I'll did a different that. transition through. They normally go to the black yeah. spots, and she went she to went light. the light. white, white one, yeah. So that was interesting. Anyways, you were talking on before that? I, I mentioned the fact that I, I actually quite like Skyward Sword um, because it makes me feel more invested in not necessarily the world itself, but the people in the world. It made me, it made me, it made me feel more like Link actually had, um, ha actually had some kind of compassion for the people. Like everything that Link does in that game in Skyward Sword is tied to helping somebody out. The community. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if it is a really small community up in Skyloft. Um, or like the Kikwis or the moles or whoever he meets like down on the surface, it feels like everything he does is done for the benefit of somebody else. And it's, 
it, it, Twilight Princess has this kind of like abstract thing where you need to pick up the the mirror, you need to go find the few shadows for to fight Xant. It doesn't tell you how or why the few shadows will help. It just says they're super powerful and they'll help you. Just like with the Mirror of Twilight, it says you need the Mirror of Twilight to go to go face Xant. But even then, like the the mirror seems to have some kind of dark uh tainted effect on people and that's just never covered like mina occasionally references it when she asks you at the end of each dungeon like do you really think it's a good idea that we're assembling this mirror but those are never explored you end up doing it anyways yeah and there are no consequences <laughs> like uh, at the end at the end of the day like nothing all all that all that questionable the all that questionable behavior all those kind of um possibilities that could have happened none of them are taken like everything works out the way it's supposed to work out um, and I just, I, I feel like Link is very, you know, Link, Link kind of jumps into this and it's very, it's very kind of farm boy. It's almost like Star Wars, very farm boy thrown into the world kind of feel. Yeah. But Link rolls with it so well that you never, you never bother questioning. Like Link, it, it's almost like Link is like, he, he's essentially destined to be that, but as he put the master I mean, sword back, it seems. I mean, he is. He is, but, but, the, <laughs> but the idea is still that, like, that it still puts him on a level, on a level different from a regular person. Yeah, he's Because not. if you threw a regular person into that, like, even if they had the abilities, the same, like, physical abilities and the same personality traits that Link did, they would still react like, oh my god, please slow down, I'm a freaking wolf. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have any reactions, no, yeah. he's just a doesn't do anything he doesn't root. right and of course that's because like the player character is supposed to transpose their identity onto onto link um common misconception here Ilya looking out and in this uh in this future one everyone everyone always thinks that like link's writing back to her um but if you actually look at this this is away from ordon link is actually writing away from from uh from i guess his love and from his home he's going out and honestly, how could you could you blame him? He's gone and seen more of the world than than all of these people combined. And now, like, I mean, he can't just go back to this small life in a small town herding goats. It's just he's he's done and seen too much. Um, so it's really it's honestly a very bittersweet ending that that Twilight Princess sends on. Midna shatters the mirror, so you'll never see her again. Link goes off into the brand new world. Uh, for foregoing all the connections he made, like he did this whole thing just to save the kids in Ilya, and now he's just gonna leave them. It's still a great game, and honestly, the HD version still looks really, really good. It's, it's a little, I would say it's a little bit, um, it's it's definitely a lot different from the H the Wind Waker HD remake, because of the art style. The Wind Waker HD remake actually looks. It, it, you can see a palpable you can see like an actual difference you don't have to put the two of them side by side to even see a difference if you've ever played wind waker and then you played wind waker, wind waker hd you can instantly go hey yeah that looks way different it looks a lot brighter the colors pop a lot more but with twilight princess honestly unless you put them side by side to me i would just be like oh i unless un, unless it came down to like pixel resolution i would just be like oh i guess that one's twilight i guess that's the original twilight princess because it's a little bit more pixelated and it, it looks a little fuzzier but other than that, like, the art doesn't look that much different, the colors don't look that much different, everything is about the same. I love that the game got an HD remake, but at the same time, because the, the art style is what it is, and because the, the art style was done like that because of the backlash from the Wind Waker art style, um, an HD remake just has much less impact than it could otherwise. If anything, I think some parts of the HD remake are kind of bad, because they sharpen up the colors and make everything clear, which is nice, but some parts of it really, I liked the blurriness of the Wii, and whether intentional or not, the blurriness felt dreary, which felt like yeah. the Twilight, Silent Realm, you know, it felt like this... It's an excellent point. It felt like this dark, dreary place, which, you know, whether it's supposed to be or not, that's how it felt, and I liked that feel. When it's cleaned up and sharpened, and now everything's got a nice flat line, you don't get that dreary feeling of a that's dark, true. depressing day. Yeah, and, 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 and the, the world in Fire Princess has always been a little bit more has always been a little bit more depressing, for lack of a better word. Yeah. It's always been a little bit more dark and gloomy than than the rest of than the rest of the Zelda series is. Honestly, like that's not necessarily a bad thing in myself. Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game. And that's probably the darkest in in terms of tone and humor and everything of any Zelda game. Mm -hmm. Um but I feel like a lot of Twilight Princess's design designs 
were taken from the backlash of Wind Waker, which was said to be too cartoonish and too bright and too kitty. And so the, the N N Nintendo went and said, okay, fine, we'll just create Tide Princess, which is this, you know, admittedly, like, look, the sunset on a great bridge, kind of like angsty, epic, non-cartoonish, non-kitty feel. And to be perfectly honest, when Twilight Princess came out, it was really well received, but a lot of people were complaining about the fact that it was like Ocarina of Time 2.0, or they, they, they just kind of, they, they didn't really, they, it, I think there's a pattern amongst Zelda fans to constantly hate on the current iteration, uh, or the current most recent Zelda game. And then once the newest one comes out after that, they look back on that one and they're just like, oh, you know what? Actually, that one that, that, that one wasn't too bad. It, I'm actually really fond of that. Look at like Wind Waker when it was released, got so much criticism. And then Twilight Princess came out and people said like, oh, you know what? Wind Waker isn't that bad. And Twilight Princess was the butt of jokes for years until Skyward Sword came out. And then now everyone says like, I want a Twilight Princess HD remake. That's so cool. I learned that game was so awesome, but I hate Skyward Sword. And I guarantee you when the next, when the next Zelda game comes out, people are gonna look back on Skyward Sword and be like, make an HD remake of that. That one was so much fun. I remember all these good things. And they don't remember at all the fact that, like, at the time, they apparently hated the game, if you actually listen to what they were saying. Well, that's it, guys, for our Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thanks so much for Draco Paladin beating the game. Woohoo! On hero mode and you, on Ganondorf you. mode. Thank you, thank you. The double damage and then the four times damage with Ganondorf <laughs> enabled. So, hope you guys all liked it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time for the next Let's Play. Till then, everyone take it easy. Peace.